Hey, what's going on, Cancers? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest. Uh, it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Uh, always feel free to comment down below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I appreciate it. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. Um, hit that little bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. Uh, we are all over the love here. And, you know, we have a great growing community. Uh, with all that being said, we are going to be using that Alice in Wonderland tarot. And let's get it. Universe, what do we have for cancer? What's going on for cancer's universe? What's going on for cancer? going on for cancer it's like I forgot to shuffle or how to let's get two more shuffles for cancer All right, Cancers. So the first thing I see is this is someone that's already around you. And I feel like... I feel like... I feel like there's a lot of hot and cold energy. And I feel like that's been becoming more and more troublesome for you. You know, I feel like there's a lot of in and out energy. I feel like it's hard to really get a grasp on what this person really wants. You know, what they really think about. You know, I feel like you have a hard time really seeing how this person feels. And I feel like the reason why it's becoming more increasingly difficult to see this is because I feel like they're putting more and more work into hiding it from you. You know, there's a lot of defensive energy with this person, you know, putting in a lot of work and I feel like the the reason is not what you think. You know, I, I feel like you both want the same thing here. And I feel like it's hard to see. You know, you're both on the same page. You both want the same thing. It's just hard for you to see. Because I feel like it's almost like... I feel like there's a lot of internal struggle going on with this person. You know, I feel like... They're having a hard time seeing the positive and only seeing the negative lately. I feel like the, the more they think about it, the more they see. You know, and there's a lot of internal struggle within them. I I feel like this person... I feel a very fearful energy from this person. I feel like they have issues that they haven't told you about. I feel like, it, I, I feel like it's not something that would really affect you but I feel like in their head I feel like they they're afraid to tell you because they're afraid to lose you you know what I mean they're afraid that if they come come completely clean that you may see them differently and you may not want them the way that you do and I feel like the closer you get I feel like that's why it's becoming more and more that hot and cold energy is, is really a struggle lately is because the closer you get the closer you get to seeing it and they're, and they're afraid of that. They're afraid of you seeing them for who they really are because they're afraid 
that you may not like them or you may not love them. You may not want to be with them. They're afraid of losing you. You know, with that devil card, it's they're burdened by past. They're burdened by things they're holding on to. I feel like, you know, they know what they want. They, they know they want you. And I can see that. It's clear. It's, it, there's no real, there's no, they're not really hiding it from me here. You know, they want to be with you. They want to build a foundation with you. But for all you cross watchers, for who this resonates with, I just want to be clear on something. The way I look at it, and I heard this before, and, and it really struck a chord with me, is the fact that when you're with someone, you, when you're with the one, you put all your baggage, all that all your issues, all that shit, you put it out on display and they put theirs out on, a on display and that's what you build your foundation on. You know, no one, it, it basically, you're afraid of them seeing it all and not wanting it anymore. You know, you're afraid that they, they may see you differently and may not want that anymore, but that's not what they're drawn to. They're drawn to your energy. They're drawn to how they feel around you. They feel fulfilled. You know, there's a lot of emotional fulfillment. They, they feel like, you know, you could be that person for them. But as long as you leave them in the dark, they'll never really know. It's like, it's like give them, giving them 10%, you know, 10% of a book to read. And expecting them to make a, a fair decision on, you know, what it's all about. You know, it's like me giving you a book, um, you know... 10% of a book and saying, write me a book report. You know, you got to put it all out there so they can see it all. Because when you hide things, it may come off in a different sense to that person. You know, they might have to start thinking about what, what are you hiding? What, how, you know, what is it that you're hiding and why are you hiding it? You know, there's a lot of feelings here, and I feel like, like I said, I feel like they're hiding it from you, but I I feel like they're hiding it out of fear. They're afraid that you're going to see them for who they really are. You're, They're afraid that you may not love them or want to be with them if you've seen who they really are. And to be honest with you, from what I see from this person, I feel like, I don't feel like it's, I, I feel like they over overthink this. I feel like they really, you know, they're really hard on themselves. But like I said, when we're somebody and, and we, we believe that that's our person, we have to put all of it out there. Because that way, we can never say that they didn't know. You know, and, and, and people may, may not like what they see, but it's better to know that in the beginning. You know, and I, and I feel like this person, like I said, I feel like this person does really want to be with you. You know, I feel like, they have a lot of love for you and they know that they're not walking away from this. You know, they see you as someone they could build a foundation with. You know what I mean? But like I said, if we build, we can't build on something we don't, you know, it, it, it's basically like trying to build a foundation of a house without knowing what you're building on. You know, and if, if we hide things and, you know, you, you we can't we can't trust in a foundation if we don't know what it's built on you know we all have issues we all do i don't care who you are that's one thing that everybody has in common we have our issues but hiding our issues is not going to solve anything you know owning our truth is how we solve things now like i said i feel like this person knows they're not walking away from this. And I feel like... I feel like they really are seeing what's going on. I feel like they... You know, they are picking up that energy that... You know, they're putting you through a lot of shit right now. And I feel like that's not what they intended. And I feel like... That's part of that internal struggle that they're having. But I feel like... Their feelings are going to win out. I do see that communication coming. Because they do... 
truly want this. You know, with that eight of wands, I do see that communication coming. I do see them finally opening up. And I feel like the more they open up and the more, that, you know, they feel accepted by opening up, I feel like that's just going to open them up even more. You know what I mean? Like, when you feel like you can't talk to somebody, you know, there's so many people out there that are with someone, but they feel alone. And that's the opposite of what you should feel when you're with that person. And sometimes it's not the person they're with's fault. It's, it's their own fault because they're not, they don't feel comfortable sharing. You know, we can't love 10% of somebody. We got to love it all. We got, we don't, that's, that's the bottom line. But I do see a strong foundation here. The Hierophant, it's all about union. You know, it, it's all about a strong foundation, but it's, it's all about a, like a strong connection. It's all about, uh, you know, finally coming together, but we can't come together. If, you know what I mean? We can't. We truly can't expect more than we give. And if you're only giving 10%, then you can't expect more than that. But when you're giving 100% and they give 100%, then you got 200% in the right direction. But this person truly does care about you. And I feel like you are going to get what you want from this person. You know, I, I do see them putting in the effort because they know they're not walking away. And sometimes we get to the point where, you know, it's it's hard it's going to be hard. This person, I'm not saying this is going to be easy for this person to, you know, tell you how they feel or tell you what's going on with them. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to be worth it. And they'll see that. And like I said, the more they open up, the more they, they'll feel comfortable and the more they'll open up. And, and then sooner or later, you'll have that hundred percent of that person. And we can finally move forward to get to where we were truly meant to be. Now we have, you know, I, I really didn't notice this before, but if we see on that four of wands, the foundation, um, we have that house of cards in the background. And that's exactly what I'm saying. I mean, you know, if you're not honest with your person and their secrets, you know, you know, we're building a foundation and if they're just filling it up with fill, you know what I mean? Like there's a hollow point in your foundation, then at the end of the day, when your house is built, it's not going to be as stable as it should be because half it's built on secrets. And secrets aren't good, aren't good foundation. They're not. You know, secrets sink ships. <laughs> I don't know where I get that from, but um, we got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. Excuse me. Uh, we have Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You know, sometimes two different types of people come together. You know, sometimes where a person, you know, one person will be very open, very, very willing to give, very willing to be open. And then we have another person like we have in this read where they find it hard to be open because they're afraid if they show you too much, you may not like it. You know, it's like showing you the, like I said, it's like showing you the 10% the of a book that you believe is the best part. It's the other parts that tie it all together. And if we don't see it all, then we can't know. You know, we can't just give somebody 10% of a book and say, here, read this and tell me what it's about. That's what I have for you. Be good. Take care. Stay safe.